Perilous Wilds, one of Dungeon World's most successful supplements, is getting a sequel nine years later. Perilous Void is the follow-up to the wildly successful book of world-building rules and guidelines, and it features two significant deviations from its predecessor. For one, it's geared towards sci-fi, in case the name Perilous Void didn't give it away, and for two, it's system agnostic. Author Jason Ludes is opting to scrap the Dungeon World-centric rules that permeated his original work in favor of more world-building tables that can be used by any sci-fi system. This should come as no surprise to Dungeon World fans, as D-Dubs is a fantasy RPG, and trying to hack it into a science fiction RPG would be kind of ridiculous. And before someone says it, I mean using the Dungeon World rules as written for a sci-fi campaign, not like using a sci-fi PBTA game, that's totally different. Ludi says in the Kickstarter that he wanted to make Perilous Void system agnostic because he felt that despite selling 18,000 copies, most DMs that use Perilous Wilds used it for its world world building tables rather than its optional dungeon world rules. According to the Kickstarter, Perilous Void will provide DMs content generation tools to cover everything from the galactic level down to the personalities of individual NPCs. The tables provided rely entirely on D10 and D100 roles. Ludi's previous work includes Perilous Wilds, of course, but also includes Freebooters on the Frontier, one of Dungeon World's successor hacks, Funnel World, which adapts Dungeon Crawl Classics zero level level funnel concept into Dungeon World, which I'm a huge fan of. I think that is a very cool concept. The Book of Beasts, which serves as a sort of monster manual for Dungeon World, in case the name didn't give it away. And Stone Top, an absurdly cool sounding RPG about heroes defending their home village and like the village grows as the game progresses. It looks really cool. It would require a whole separate video. Moral of the story is the man's got experience writing PBTA supplements. The Perilous Void Kickstarter just concluded like the day that I'm filming this. Sorry, my actual job got really busy. It raised over $23,635, surpassing a $10,000 goal. So, you know, it's happening. The 1,057 people who backed it get a beta PDF today, while those of us who didn't hop on the Kickstarter will have to wait until the end of November or early December to either get a PDF or a print-on-demand copy. I'll drop a link to The Perilous Void in the description below if you want more information on the supplement, and let me know if you like more of these like straight shooting journalism type of videos. I kinda wanna make more of them. Go back to my roots, use my journalism degree. In the meantime, click right here to see whatever video of mine that YouTube wants you to watch, and thank you so much for watching.